Viraza da asapra kel hukhulu. And this is the secret of uh, the kel will say a statute lahu asa dikri hukhulu to that place that's called a statute. Yine a malchus nikres hok. Now malchus is called a statute. Vuhumin yin hatri feini lechem hukhi. And it's from the concept of don't give me poverty or riches, um, but um, give me my my uh, set my statute of bread. Hamaz and Abba Bechok Akatsu, the the food that comes as a set uh, amount. Kamuki Chok LeKohanim is Paro. Like because it was a statute to the Kohanim from Paro, Vachlu Lechem Chukam, and they ate their their set portion of bread or, or sustenance of Parshas Vayigash, Vechengsi Bibachinas Malchus, Vatitin Teraf Levesa, Vichok Lenaro Seas. So too it says by Malchus that she gives. Um, Sustenance to her household and uh, uh, the chok, the set amount to her maid servants. <laughs> Their payment. <laughs> that this flow comes in a measure and divided to each one according to what's uh, coming to them. When we say about the uh, heavenly bodies that they were given a set uh, time and a chok, uh, meaning uh, rules that they should not change their purpose. And the heaven, the um, fiery angels, they stand. What does it mean? They stand on the, the same level that they were created. From the six days of creation, that's their chok. The countenance of the lion from kindness and the countenance of the ox from strictness. Like below, you have the inanimate plant, animal, and speaker, and each one has their set portion in, in place in existence. So too with the concept of the heavens and the earth. Maybe, like it says, it says that did they, maybe, uh, do you think that they changed their measure? Or maybe, did the sun come uh, rise in the west? Uh, rhetorically, that uh, they didn't change. V'chein ba'aretz shemashin sas midas also to the land. Maybe it changed. Did it change its measure? Shema zaratim v'lod samcha chulu. Maybe it, you planted and it didn't grow. V'chein lein yin hayam chulu. So to the concept of the sea. V'shpur alav chuki chulu. That I broke upon it my statutes. I guess the the waves that it doesn't um, extend past the gvul of the yam. And all of this is drawn to them through the statute of the flow that's drawn to them from his attribute of kingship. The supernal speech that that said statute will never change like it says like it says in Noah about the rainbow, all the days of the earth. Um, so it says that all the seasons won't change, will never stop. And that's why Malchus is called the Chok, the statue, which is not the case in Atsilus Sham. There you can have the, the flipping. This exchanging of its of places, or hachesed v'kliyagvura, the light of kindness in the vessel of strictness. 
Ve'en shaykh chok v'hischalkus hamadregos. You can't say there. You have the same concept of uh, statute and division of the levels. Ve'fisha sham lubish hakav me'orin sov kulu because there, the kav is enclosed from orin sov. And it's an infinite concept, so you have the inclusion one or the other. So in Atsilus, you have more of a, a mixture and less of a set boundary for each level. Because the whole point of the statute is a boundary that's a, a Carved each one in its in a change of its in a different essence from its friend, so you don't mix them. And this is something that's specifically in the lower worlds of Yosia, and from there it divides. Which is not the case with the you don't have division and. Um, Separation, only uni unity and in inclusion. And it's interesting, usually we talk about, uh, from the other perspective, how in this world you have uh, the uh, mixture of good and evil, what Masha Enkain, and the almost Lamayla, the evil doesn't mix with the good. But here we're talking about uh, the concept of in holiness that the levels uh, are truly included together only in Atsilus, which is not the case with Bia, the lower worlds there, you have more of a measure. And similarly, it's explained in the Siddur about uh, the holiday of the Matzos, where it talks about how just like the seventh is permissible, so to all the other uh, Days are permissible. So the, you have a hisbololus, you have some kind of hiskalalus of the of shvi into the other madregos, the other levels of the midos also have a certain concept just because, just like shvi has it. Valdera, meaning to say that it breaks the boundary of its concept and applies it to the others as well. And so too, we can say what's brought in Pritz Chaim and Mishnah's Chassidim concerning the blowing of the shofar and Rosh Hashanah, Shemizpar Kol Hatrumitin Keminyan Chok, that the number of all the, the um, sets of blasts is the Gematria Chok 108, Kiem Lihios Pinyan Amalchus Chulu, because it's in order to build the Malchus, which is Chok, the set amount. We part this at a Chok. That it says chok and chuka because he sowed in malchus. I'm not sure which if he sowed if he sowed which one is he sowed here. They confine and engrave to all the the finite um, creations that exist within boundary. That and this is the also the secret of this is also the idea of the why these you have these forbidden mixtures of shatnes and uh, plants you can't plant together because you have this concept of the malchus that's chok. That it sets a boundary for each creation. And with this, you can understand why it's permissible to have a shatnez in the tzitzis and when the garments of the kohen, because in the world of atzilus, it's above this concept of set divisions and statutes. You have the more concept of mixture within Atsilus. However, in in um, over there, I'm not sure where over there is in the Peder or in Parshkas Kedoshim. 
in Pardes. But anyway, at any rate, it says there that the source of the Kav is drawn from, that we're saying the Kav here is, it causes, causes this inclusion of the levels, but the Kav, is, uh, or, or it comes from there, the, the spark, the dark candle, which the dark candle is the concept of Gvurav Atik, which draws down in general the, the idea of division. That the Kav is what is the is called the Kav Amida, that it divides and measures all the levels. So if in Atsilus the Iskalalus comes from the Kav, why do we say that it's coming from Butusina de Kadronisa, which is a concept of the dark candle of division and measure? Even for Atsilus Lacha Orach, Yeshloma, we can say the Zeomash and Imshach Kav Hamida, the Tzora Chagvul de Biyah. But we can say that this, that the Kav comes down, it's not for the purpose of Atsilus. Rather, the purpose of the Kav is for Biyah. It's for the lower world and not for Atsilus. So even though it does measure, but it, that doesn't apply to the concept as it is in Atsilus, which is when in Atsilus it causes Iskalalus. Uh, we can say that we're trying we're talking about a sapra as a concept of to shine or the spheros to chok. We can say it's a from the 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 scribe and the book. To the concept of Malchus and Nikra Sipur, which is called the story. With Nikra and it's called the measure that the, the scribe and the book are all potentials in comparison to the story, which is the actual. Bugamkin, Kenyan Isha, Misa Perasim, Bailah. It's also like the idea of the woman um, speaks to her husband, Shuinina Yehuda Elyon, which is the concept of supernal union. So it's a sapra, the sphiros is a concept of union, yichudim, and the woman who speaks with her husband is a concept of union, supernal union. So that's malchus, hamshacha from above to malchus. It's masculine and feminine uniting. Look what's brought about the idea of, and the number of Bnei Israel was, Bepereshki Godol Yom Hulu. You have these ideas of the, that are connected to the concept of day. I today give you birth. The day is still uh, great. It's not time to gather in the sheep yet. And then you have the concept of ki godol yom. That the, the godol yom Israel of the great day yom shikula orachulu a day that's all length, lengthy or yom godol. So you have this concept of the great day. And the long day. And so you have a, con a concept of day, which is the measure. Then you have the concept of the great day, or the long day, which is without measure. Um, time as it is not confined. Look what's brought in the Maimar Bachmini Yatzeras concerning today. If you listen to his voice, it's a concept of revelation of Mashiach called the day. This is the day that Havaya made, and so forth. Look what it's brought about the idea of I today give you birth, the birth of Mashiach and so forth of Ben David. And 
And from this it's understood that after the birth from the concept of Malchus, which is the Chok, it'll be elevated even further, the Maila Mimena, higher than, higher than its concept. Like Yosef was elevated to be the concept of Yisod, higher than Malchus, higher than his mother, Shihi Rachel, which is Rachel, even though it's, she's his mother. Like the concept that we brought before about someone who comes onto his mother in a dream. That so too it is with the concept of the souls of Israel with the mitzvot that it elevates us higher. And explaining that the woman who fears Hashem, she will be praised. That she's the crown of her husband and so forth. She, um, she's the one who's praised. Meaning to say the mitzvot elevate the souls of Israel higher than their source that they come out of. Inyan give give us bina gross bino malchus. We talked about how you have the concept of give us, which is bina and gvos, which with a vav, and you have that that these two are bina and malchus. Each one has the vav in a pregnant state, um, whether it's still in potential. Like Matat, or the concept of Ben David, the Mashiach, as he is hidden. You have the the concept of in Bina, you have the Psiel Abar, and in and then you have the idea of Malchus, as it's above the potential for, ready for his galus. Efshash is our Indian kibutz b'shnei raglaim, and we said that it's possible. This is like jumping with two legs. Because the vav is the leg that's inside the hay, so you have two legs, the two legs of the hay, the Indian chok. We talked about the idea of malchus is the chok, the set amount, and the idea of the speaking, of telling the story of Sofer and Sphiros with the the, uh, as the concept of a union of Yisod malchus. When we talked about the concept of the day, you have the great day as well. Hey, ha, hein am levada dishkon. So it is. It is that the nation dwells alone. He ne be mikdash melech perish b'shem arachav in reisha giza v'shvila. Now in mikdash melech, in the name of the rachav, it talks about three levels: the head, the giza. The mm, I'm not sure it's the like the the line the the part of of the parting line or something in the head, and then they have the shvil the the path. Shame chabad that these three levels are chokhmah binadas. The gimel quotes in shabos yud, and they they also correspond with the three thorns. The crowns of the letter Yud, Vine, the Sefer, Hadras Melach, Sivmin, Kuf Yudalik, Kuf Tezvav. Vini Shurash Nisham, Sisra, Mibichinus, Yichuda, Elyon. And the source for the souls of Israel is from supernal union, Zeh, Vizeu Inyan, Levada, Yishkon. And that's the concept of they will dwell alone. All that Achmash Akas, Sub, Pedish, Pasha Samor, Daf Tarik Dalit, Binyan, Kodesh, Milag, Bigar, Mihu, Hulu, Ain Sham. Like it's brought with the idea that holy is something for itself, meaning chokma is exalted and above. I guess it's like the concept of these three levels, the yud, with its three kotzim. So that's levada yishkon, dwelling on the level that's exalted and beyond all. Bezaftal, Lahamshi, Chayichur, Bebezdalt, in the Leavid Rachel. 
to draw down the supernal union, the union of the two Dalids of Leah and Rachel, Ki Leah, Kesher, Shel, Tefillin, Bechines, Dalid, Chul, because Leah is the uh, knot and the head fill and the concept of the Dalid. Begami, Shloma, Beis, Daltin, the Echad, the Avoid, you can also say that this, these two dalids are the two dalids of the, the word echad and va'ed of shemayin baruch shem yichud elav yichud etata that these two dalids are it correspond with the supernal union and the lower union. So that's levadad with two dalids the base dalad dalad v'ayin mashakas makom acher so that the the nation that that dwells with supernal unions. Another place about in in Parsha Sazino about that Hashem will uh, conduct them alone. Look what the Magid says about this. And look what's brought in its Chaim concerning Dodi. I guess there's two dollars there. That you should draw down the Vav Yud and the two dollars. Hayichud Ha'elyun, the supernal union. Ve'aznasu Ha'ein, and then you that becomes Hey. Vainu Du Ve'chein Dichul, and that's Dalit Vav, um, which is the, the Do. And then you have Dalit Yud, which is the Dodi. My beloved, a concept of union, uh, my, uh, as we are, as it draws down and into the two Dalits. If you could